much. <laughs> I think the oven baked ones look really good. Ranch. That tastes like ranch. I haven't had ranch since living in Europe. That was weird. Nutella and then one strawberry. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently called Germany our home. If you've been following our journey, our American parents recently flew into Germany to spend some time with us. So far, we have introduced them to the German Autobahn. We even let my dad drive. We explored Innsbruck, Austria, where we ate tasty Tyrolean food and then experienced a beautiful winter wonderland and attempted tobogganing in the Dolomites. After that, we explored the more than 1,000 year old town of Quidlinburg, situated in the Harz Mountains. In our most recent video, we introduced them to our personal favorite and one of Germany's most popular street foods, the Duna. They also tried many traditional German foods such as schnitzel, pork shoulder, white asparagus, bratwurst, and sauerkraut. Oh, I miss my tummy's hungry. Let's get it some food. In this video, we are in Poland for the first time ever. We hit the streets of Roklaw and taste traditional Polish food. <laughs> what? We just walked under this tunnel to this view. Wow, this is our first time in Poland. So for me, this marks my 32nd country, Willa's ninth country. So on this trip, she'll hit her 10th country, which is really cool. She just turned two in December. So she's knocking those countries out fast. For this video, we're gonna be doing a Polish food tour in the city of Wrocław. The first thing we're going to be trying are stuffed dumplings, one of Poland's most popular foods. We've heard everyone has a recipe for what they use for their filling. The fillings can vary from sweet to savory, to spicy, etc. My daddy! You see the doggy? Well, we just made our order. We're really excited. There was a ton of options. We didn't really know where to start, but luckily there's plenty of things to choose that have like a mixture. So we got one dinner for two plate that has both vegetarian and meat dumplings mixed and oven baked and the boiled kind, mm -hmm. and then some potato pancakes as well. And then we got some sweet strawberry filled boiled pierogies. And then we did get some other mixed meat and mixed vegetable ones as well. So really excited, the flavors sound really good. I'm actually salivating right now as I'm talking because I, I'm really excited for this. Honestly, you guys, we almost got everything off of this order. When I was asking him, I was like, Kate, this variety one, what ones is missing? Because we wanted to order them. And he's like, actually, it's one of each. And we're like, perfect. So what we ended up getting was everything of the meat ones, full oven baked and boiled. So we're gonna get to see them in different preparation yeah. methods. And we did the very similar thing to all the vegetarian ones. Literally, almost everything on the menu, minus the starters and the soups, which is gonna be really fun. Oh yeah. So these stuffed dumplings derive their name from Russia, actually, for the name for pies, which is pierogi. So that's kind of cool history on it. And also, traditionally, these dumplings are served as the 12th course of a traditional Polish Christmas Eve dinner, actually. 12 no, no, courses. No, no. That's a lot of courses. And I'm not gonna lie, I am more excited for these potato dumplings than the ones that we had in Luxembourg. Although those were good, I hope that these are hot and fresh. The other ones were cold and it was a cold rainy day, so I'm not dogging on them. I'm looking forward to a hot potato dumpling this time. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so it came with two sauces, and on the menu it specifically lists that they're for the dumplings. We have a honey mustard and then a garlic sauce. So we broke the spinach dumpling up into four so we could all try it. I'm gonna take a bite here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. No, I like it plain, actually. What kind of sauce is it? Ranch. That tastes like ranch. I haven't had ranch since living in Europe. That was weird. Maybe that's what the garlic sauce is like. Yeah. That tastes exactly like ranch back in the States. I don't know Hidden Valley is. Ranch to be exact. So there you go. Garlic Ranch here in Poland is equivalent to a Hidden Valley Ranch in the States. But that spinach dumpling was very good. It's a thick outside. Like the dumpling, I'll just get one close here to show you. Like they're thick. 
And all of them have this white flower base, except for the spinach one. That one was unique because it was green colored, so that's kind of fun to see that. I don't know what this one is, what kind of meat. I know it's meat, it's boiled. This is what they're all looking like. I'm gonna bite in. Mm. Mm. This has got chicken, corn. I should have cut that some so we could all. That's okay, we'll cut a sliver for Tanner and then share the rest. We all have one sweet one. So I'm just gonna dump into a sweet one because I know I can eat it all. I think the oven baked ones look really good, really nice. They have that crispy layer on the outside. They've been brushed with probably like an egg white. Ooh, this is hard to camera. Thanks, Dad. Like I was saying, this is an oven roasted dumpling. They look really good to me just on appearance. I mean, they all look good, but these are thick too. Kind of reminds me of like mini calzone. This one is stuffed, it's sweet. I'm just gonna buy it in. Chocolate, peanut butter, strawberries. This is like the perfect mixture for me and Tanner. He loves peanut butter. Honestly, every American. Peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, okay, not every American, but all the good ones like peanut butter. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> mm, that's really good. I'm going to break this apart so you can get a better picture. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it sure tastes nice. Tanner's out playing in the rain with Willis, so I'm just jumping in, taking advantage of a little quiet. I'll do one more here. Let's do the pan cake. You guys. This needs something to dip with for sure. That's what my dad said, he's exactly right. It's more greasier than the one in Luxembourg and it's thinner. I've gotta say, comparing apples to apples, even though the one in Luxembourg was cold, it definitely had more flavor than this. This seems very simple. It's mild in flavor. You can taste the oils. I just think it needs a little bit more seasoning. Not my favorite, still good, but very simple. Oh, it's coming down, here we go. So this one is oven baked and it has favita cheese, spinach, and garlic sauce. It smells really delicious, tasty. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, that garlic sauce really brings it all together. Lots of spinach for sure, creamy, all together just really, really delicious flavors. I think I prefer the baked over the boiled just at this point, just because of the flavors and textures, but overall, fantastic, I love it. This is another vegetarian one. It has potatoes, cottage cheese, sour cream, fried onion, and pepper. Really rich and savory, it smells delicious. If you know me, I am a savory kind of guy. I will go like for seconds of savories. And this one, over the spinach one, I will do this one over and over again. Mm. <laughs> this next one has chicken, pepper, cheese, honey, and other herbs in there. I'm not even quite sure. Someone also told us, is it herbs or herbs? Because I've always said herbs in my life. Anyway. This one has like a smoked pepper to it, and I'm kind of liking that. I kind of like that a lot. So I'm dipping my potato dumpling into this turkey gravy sauce over here. It looks like it's also got some like red peppers, maybe some other herbs, mushrooms possibly, but I've actually had this a couple times. Very delicious. Okay, so this one is a spicy beef with some pickled vegetables in here, onion, other spices, and there's a garlic sauce. Will is trying to hijack the camera, but it's really good. Spicy, ooh, that after kick, ooh, that was nice. Overall, really a fun meal. This is something that I'm really glad that we were able to do. And there were so many different types of like meats and cheeses and the vegetarian dishes and also the sweet one, although that one was probably our least favorite one. I really enjoyed both the boiled and the oven baked. You can't really go wrong. So overall, perfect experience. Way to end the night. We were saying that we ordered too much, but in the end, we still ended up eating every last dumpling. Honestly, I loved it. I thought they were all delicious. Genuinely loved them all and was very impressed. You guys know I love my sweet flavors, but all of these savory ones did not tire me out. I could keep going. The flavors in them were just excellent. Polish food that you have to try if you come to Poland. Hello, look what it is. Apparently the city has lots of these gnomes around the city. It's kind of like a fun scavenger hunt to look for these little guys all over. The one next to our hotel that we stayed at said you can give it a kiss to bring you good luck. I'm not sure if I'm gonna kiss it, but we'll keep an eye out and Willa hopefully can find some more. Yeah, but we're not gonna swim in this one.
this thing real nice. which in my opinion is one of the best places to visit when you go to a new country, that and the supermarket, and at that point you've seen a lot of what the locals are eating. Here you can see we're trying a variety of Polish donuts and baked goods. Really excited. What Willa has is a miniature version of the traditional Polish donut, which seem very similar to a Berliner or a Kraftwerk. Is that how you say it, Tanner? In Germany. What color is that? Pink. Oh, close. Close. Purple. A lot of American donuts have a hole in the middle of them. I think that's what sets a lot of the European donuts apart from American ones. So this one's a Nutella one. You can see it's not the traditional round circle, but it's stuffed with Nutella, so we're not passing this up. And then it has crushed peanuts on the top with a little bit of a sugary glaze. You can see it's hanging there. I didn't get that Nutella yet, so I'm gonna take another bite. The outside was really, really good, actually. Perfect to have the texture of the nuts on it. Very fluffy. You can see the dough there. And that sugary glaze does a lot more than you would think. Adds a perfect sweetness. So good. Mmm. That raspberry has like a citrus mixed in with it, a lemon, which makes sense because in order to keep that bright pink color, it's gotta have something aesthetic in there. I like that mix. Sweet on the outside, tart and tangy on the inside. First off, give, give the model. <laughs> Well, Rissa wasn't wearing her cut, so I threw it on, and that's a good thing because it's freezing out here. Anyway, one thing that we did learn a couple weeks ago is that there is something called Fat Thursday, which is the Thursday before Lent begins, and a typical Polish tradition from what we hear is that people will have lots of sweet dishes like donuts that we've been having today. So it's been kind of fun to see what someone would have on those typical days. I don't know if I could handle much more than what we have already, so I don't know like how many people usually have on that day, but before Lent begins, I'm sure everyone has like their own reason and meaning during Lent, but I'm sure that some people kind of give up sweets during that time, so it's kind of like their last hurrah. Give us a little catwalk. That's all you got? <laughs> Where's your catwalk? Oh, she's... <laughs> Oh, woo I don't even know why we bring these things anymore. You guys, they have these cute little, I don't even know what you call those. Little taxis. Extended like, limousine golf carts. They're like a miniature buses or yeah, extended golf carts. Either way, they're really cute, but you can go and take them and they will take you around the city to do some sightseeing. We're gonna pass on that, but it seems like it's really fun. We saw these buildings last night, but I just still can't get over them. It's so fun to see different architecture, to see all the colorful buildings. This has been a really fun time here in Roklaw. We've really enjoyed getting pierogies, potato pancakes, and an assortment of donuts and pretzels today. So thank you so much for being here. It's been really fun. We're hoping to get some other Polish food during our time here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Dad. Smash that like button. Woo! Bye, baby.